Hours after the results of medical entrance examinations were announced, a 17-year-old NEET aspirant allegedly committed suicide in Tamil Nadu. She was found dead by her parents, who alleged that she consumed poison after failing in NEET exam. Pratibha also left behind a note to the authorities stating that a translation of the questions in Tamil was wrong and therefore she lost her marks. Last year, S. Anita, who had challenged the NEET in the Supreme Court, had committed suicide due to her poor scores in the entrance test. Her death had led to massive protest in the state. Pramod Madhav uh, joining us on the phone line. Uh, Pramod, extremely unfortunate after Anita. There is Pratibha now who has uh, committed suicide because she feels that NEET was not a fair way of assessing medical aspirants. Can you tell us more about what happened? Certainly, it's very unfortunate that uh, Pratibha has taken her life. The child has taken 495 out of 510 uh, intense examination and 1,125 or 1,200 in her 12 plus 2 examination. And uh, she wanted to become a doctor. The only uh, unfortunate part here is that she was a child of uh, daily wages. And uh, even after that, she had uh, struggled extremely to uh, write this examination. And finally, she wrote it as well. In fact, she has written a letter earlier claiming that since she has written the uh, examination in Tamil, the regional language, there was a lot of confusion with the way the question paper was translated into Tamil. And she had lost quite a few marks because of that. And she asked the, uh, the authorities to uh, grant her and other children who have gone through this trouble. However, no decision was taken on that matter. And uh, unfortunately, Pratibha lost the examination and uh, uh, she has consumed rat poison. Currently, her body is present in uh, the Sivanamalai General Hospital and is pending autopsy. Her parents state that they will not accept the body unless NEET exam is abolished. Okay, so that could reignite the entire controversy over NEET, particularly in Tamil Nadu. Thanks for joining us, Pramod.